Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is the second news on 9th April newspaper, front page down. Islamabad Prime Minister Imran Khan is being briefed on Parash Town Apartments project. On Thursday, APP. Imran Arjes Wells creation and to get rid of foreign debt. Hayes Foundation stone of 4,000 low-cost flats pins hope on Ravi Bandal project so far investment turns youths of the eight countries he has set. By Sayyid Irfan Chaza. Islamabad Prime Minister Imran Khan on Thursday said several initiatives had been taken for wealth creation so that Pakistan could get rid of heavy foreign debts his government had inherited from previous ones. He was hopeful that the measures being introduced would bring about prosperity in the country. We want to create more and more wealth in the country to, re to retire heavy for loans. Some of it are causing even more deaths. The Prime Minister said, while laying the foundation stone of 4,000 low cost apartments being built under the government's ambitious near Pakistan. Housing program NPHP at Forest Town near Islamabad. He said the in um, incentives announced by the government for the construction industry would not only ensure economic activity with the running of 30 affiliated industries, but also generate job opportunities. PM Khan expressed the confidence that the development of Lahore's Ravi urban project at the central business district and since uh, Bandal Island uh, would attract foreign investment. In addition to survival of the construction industry, the textile industry progressed a boom with operationalization of power looms leading to an increase in demand of workers, he pointed out. Mr. Khan noted that the construction of two big dams after a gap of five decades would ensure cheap electricity and contribute to enhanced productivity of industries. He said completion of main line one rail track would reduce the travel Travel time between Lahore and Karachi to eight hours. Addition in addition, adding it would be benefit the foreign movement as a factor of ease of doing business. The Khan said that within two years, people would be able to move into the houses with ownership rights. He expressed satisfaction that negotiations held by the government with the banks, the Federal Bureau of Revenue, and other bodies had resulted in the uh, conclusion of an agreement on mortgage finances financing as the key factor in materialization of the housing project. He held out the assurance that some remaining implements in the way of acquiring bank loans would be sorted out and the procedure would be simplified. He announced that out of 4,000 apartments, 600 would be offered 
to slum developers. Ten thousand would be allotted to those who had registered themselves under the NPHP, while 1,600 flats would be sold out by the Capital Development Authority (CDA). Prime Minister Khan witnessed the signing of a memorandum of understanding among the Near Pakistan Housing Development Authority (CDA) and Frontier Works Organization with a way to jointly carry out the project. The Prime Minister was apprised that the total engineering procurement and construction cost of the project was increased to 15.184 billion. The complex uh, would be, uh, would have apartments of two sizes built on 99 blocks each block would have 40 flats. The apartments of 650 square feet would cost to 2.423 million, while of 760 square feet each event would cost to 2.985 million. Interior Minister Sheikh Rashid Arman announced that in the upcoming media city, 600 flats are being uh, provided uh, to the journalists of Islamabad and Talmud. He said journalists pay installments of the flats. Defining moment. While the Prime Minister, meanwhile, the Prime Minister, while addressing the 10th summit of the developing aid organization uh, for economic cooperation, said that there was a defining moment for the world because of the interconnectedness and the socio-economic and environmental vulnerabilities created by it. The summit held virtually was hosted by Bangladesh while heads of state and government from Bangladesh, Egypt, Indonesia, Iran, Malaysia, Nigeria, Pakistan, and Turkey participated in it. Prime Minister Khan described the huge population of the eight countries as a key asset. The theme of the summit was partnership for a transformative world Addressing the power of youth and technology, highlighting the health and economic challenges posed by the COVID 19, Mr. Khan said, peculiar socio economic impacts had disproportionately harmed the developing nations. He underlined the need for creating opportunities is used by harnessing technology, prompting innovation, and investing in youth education, skills, and training. The Prime Minister highlighted the various initiatives and programs undertaken by the PGI government aimed at empowering the youths like Kamya Jawan, Honorman Pakistan, Youth Entrepreneurship Scheme and Digital Pakistan. He said, rapid advancement in science and technology had triggered exponential changes in the world and the information and technology breakthrough by fast transforming science fiction of yesterday into today's reality. As part of endeavors to realize the vision of PH in these testing times, Mr. Khan presented several proposals at the summit. The summit adopted the DACA Declaration in 2021 and the decimal roadmap the Senior Roadmap 2020 to 2030, the Declaration Inter Alia 
applauded in the prominent role of the government of Pakistan is in strongly advocating priority redressal of the peculiar challenges faced by developing countries due to the COVID-19 pandemic and Prime Minister Khan's call for a global initiative on debt relief for developing countries. The summit approved three feasibility studies of four project proposals and the DA project support fund, including two from Pakistan to lead into, into safe drinking water and the climate adaptations in the agriculture. Iftihar A. Khan in Islamabad also contributed to this report. And in the end, the final request, if you have not yet, please subscribe to the channel and press the like and bell button to get the rest of us. Thank you for watching. Have a nice time. Goodbye.